Okay, continuing forward. Going to start page six. What I'd like you to do on this one is you're going to take this measurement, the measurement that's listed next to the space that I provided to draw out what you would see. Um, you're just going to take that and you're going to label the whole inch right here to make it. Um, you're going to label this whole inch. You're going to you're going to label what you're going to do is you're going to draw what you're going to see based off of that measurement. So essentially, what we're going to do on this page is identical to what we did back on page four but it's going to be opposite of what we did on page four on page four everything was drawn out for you and you had to identify what the measurement was on the page six you're going to be doing it backwards so you're going to have a measurement provided for you and you, you need to draw what that measurement would look like at that measurement or what that inch segment is going to look like look like at that measurement so if we have 64 and 7 16 there should be a 64 over here, 6, 4. And then there'll be, if it's between, uh, or if it's past 64, the next whole inch you're going to see is going to be 65. So write a 64 on this side, 65 on this side. Now we need to make the ruler so we can identify the 16th of, or 7 16 So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to find my middle. I'm going to make my half inch like that. Then I'm going to, you don't need to label this. All we're doing right now is just, you you don't need to label every single, that's the other thing I wanted to say, is that you should not label every increment, every single division that you're gonna do, you don't need to label it. All we're gonna do is draw it out. So we're gonna go, that's half, now I need to make my fourth, so I'm gonna put a line right here. I'm gonna put a line right here. Notice the fourths are the same length, but they are shorter than what the half is. Now I'm gonna cut each of those in half, remember, just like drawing a pizza, we're going to go like this and like this. Now we're going to cut each of those sections in half. So now we need to cut all of the fourth spaces in half. So I'm going to put a line right here. 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 You don't have to label it. All we're doing is dividing the sections to make, a, make an entire ruler. So now I'm going to cut each of those piece, slices in half just like this if we were back at our pizza. Now I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna cut all of these in half like that. And if you did this, your final result should look like that. When you get done, if you're not sure if it looks right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start at your whole inch and count, the lot, count each space to make sure you have 16 spaces. So if we start right here, we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You won't have to do that every single time, but if you are not sure if you're doing it correctly, count at the end. When in doubt, count. And that's gonna be, that's actually one of the things that I thought about changing the, um, the name to the very last page, when in doubt, count. And I'll explain that after we get through this. Um, so this is what this one's gonna look like. You start at 64. You write 65, and then you make your ruler. Now we need to identify where uh, 64 and 7 16 are. So we're going to go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to put a circle. We're going to put an arrow like this, and I'm going to write 64 and 7 16 That's all you're going to do. Okay? That's how you finish that. 38 and 1 fourth. It's still good? Okay. So we're going to write a 38 over here because we're past 38, but we're not quite to 39. Because we're only going to fourths, we only have to label or divide it up to the fourth. Um, we only have to, we don't have to go any farther than this because we have one, two, three, four spaces. We can go like this, circle this, put an arrow like this, 38 and one fourth. Okay. That's all that is. That one's done. Very simple. The whole point of the whole point of drawing what you see is to show you that and the whole point of drawing the one inch segment over and over and over again is so you can get comfortable what those lines look like. And when you're measuring in the shop and when you're measuring with the um, when we're making projects, 
the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get with it. So if you are ever struggling, just continue to work on drawing out rulers and you'll get, you'll get better and better at it. The next one is going to be nine and five eighths. So we're going to do a nine over here and then a 10 on the side like this, nine and 10. Divide it in half, divide this in half, divide this in half. Remember those are the, those should be the same length. Now we're going to cut all of the fourths in half. Do I need to go any farther than that? Nope, because we're at the eighths. Now I'm going to, I'm going to count to where five eighths is. So we're going to start here at, at our whole inch. This is going to be our starting point to count. So this will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Nine and five eighths. That's all you need to do for that. Again, I drew this pizza right here so that when you are dividing this up, I could have drawn a pizza out for every single one like this. And this one, I would have gone like this and only done the eighths. Whoops. So really, that's a kind of a horrible pizza. But you, if you're struggling with figuring this out, draw a pizza out every single time to help you out with that. Um, so 87 and 13 sixteenths, 87, 88. If I were to do a whole pizza to help draw this out, I'm going to cut that in half. Now I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to cut this in half. Then I'm going to cut this in half and this in half. So I'm going to cut all of these in half just like this. And then like this. So if I were to make it the 16th. Only reason I'm doing this, the only reason I'm drawing the pizza is to help people if they're having a hard time with it. Now, did we do it correctly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. Okay. 87 and 13 sixteenths. We're going to, if you counted to 13, you could start at the bottom. You could start at 16 and go 16, 15, 14, 13, like this. If you know that this is 8, you could start at 8. In terms of figuring out where 13 sixteenths is, I'm giving you several different methods to get to 13 sixteenths. You could start at the at the base and work your way up to 13. You could start at 16 and count your way down because there's 16 divisions here. You could start at eight and you could go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's a lot of different ways to identify where 13 sixteenths is. So you're gonna write 87 and 13 sixteenths next to there. That's all you gotta do. And this page is done.